there's an echo in here. Scene 10, take 1. Action! Oh, my bad. Action. So, curved edges are a little different from straight edges. You have to follow the curve from the choil to the point as you're sharpening. There's a couple of different ways of doing that. Um, I like to lift my elbow over here, kind of like, you know, the chicken dance kind of thing. So what that means is that when you get to the tip, you lift your elbow up. And when you get to the choil, you drop your elbow down. So it's high elbow, low elbow, high elbow, low elbow. Switch hands, same thing, high elbow, low elbow. But I'm keeping the hands really straight from the elbow to the tip of the middle finger there. So same thing on this side. So let's give it a try. So before I even touch the stone, it's this motion, just like that. Same, switch. I'm just exaggerating a little bit, but you have to get up pretty high to get all the way to the tip of the knife. So here we go, here, here we go on the stone. So tip to choil and come back. Tip to choil and come back and bring that elbow up. So that makes it real easy. And then this finger down here can hit along the side of the stone so that you just maintain that angle. See that? And then switch over on this side and do the same. I'm keeping my head pretty much over the center of the stone, not quite all the way, but maybe I can move just a little closer to me. And there we go. Now I've got a nice balance. Tip to choil, choil to tip, just like that. And if you want to do trailing edge strokes, see, so just, um, just circle back, circle back. And get a little curve in, so you're, you're following the curve of the knife as you go around. Same on this side following the curve of the knife as you go around. Got that finger down here just to check and make sure the angle is the same every time. So we can go front to back and stay on the stone, or we can do trailing edge strokes. Just like that, it's very easy. Just follow it around one direction, follow it around the other direction. Now, you can work like this and work in sections of the knife in a, in a leading edge way. One thing about this, it probably grinds a little faster, but it doesn't sweep around the fair curve quite as well. So this, this motion tends to maintain the fair curve of the knife a little better, just like that. See how I'm pivoting on the uh, middle finger here? Just pivoting right there. So pivot around the curve and back. And you can put two fingers there, or one, and just pivot right around. Just like that. Curved knife sharpening. Cut.